Hey guys, it's Tungle Croc, and welcome back to some Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Let's play. In the last episode, we beat the bottom of the well and got the uh, mirror shield. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to beat the mini dungeon. Uh, what's it called? It's called Ikana Castle. That's what it is. So anyway, what we're going to do in this area, we we'll see a bunch of re-deads. But if we put on the Gibdo mask, they'll start dancing around. And a good thing about re-deads... I thought it only took two hits. If you kill them, they drop a lot of rupees. Twenty sometimes, and then ten other times. But anyway, we'll notice there's a block there, but we can't do anything with that yet. If we look to the skies... We can see... some ice switches. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna, uh unfreeze both of them, thaw both of them, I guess. <clears throat> My throat is being a pain in the butt. Okay. So do both, and then we're gonna enter the left one first, right? That's... Yeah, that's right. Okay. So this temple's pretty easy. There's a mini-boss, I think, is all... But anyway, there's no enemies in here that we require the Gibdo mask for, so we're gonna put on the Deku mask. Well, first we'll do that, and then we'll put on the Deku mask. A pretty cool feature here, actually. If we go into a Deku flower, wait for the top to fall down, we can actually push it back up. So apparently the force applied from one of these... Ah, crap. I didn't do it fast enough. I should have gone over to that one over there. I think I'll make it this time. Yeah, the force applied whenever you're pushing up with one of these is so hard. <gasps> no! Okay. Guess not. <laughs> okay, we'll try this once again. We have to hit that switch above it. Let's see if I can get to the second one. Eh. Alright. Okay. We have to get that switch to open the door. Anyway, do this. Let's see if we can do this this time. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. So, push down the switch. Head up at the door. Uh, that switch right there, I'll do the same thing that the one before did. Just make the floor rise. So this place is kind of tricky. We notice there's a bunch of Deku flowers, but we're not going to need those. We're going to actually get out our... This, and then switch to these arrows, because there are... Not, there's nothing right there. But anyway, there's an invisible platform. And then a switch over here that opens the door. Okay. So, are these invisible? I guess not. Well, anyway, while I'm doing this, have any of you got uh, Majora's Mask 3D? I have not yet. I'm waiting until... I'm waiting until the right time to get a new 3DS. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, well... These enemies are friggin' blue bubbles or whatever, they jinx you and you can't use your sword. Which is annoying. I hate that. That's- that shouldn't be in Zelda. It shouldn't. I hate it. But anyway, I was, uh, waiting for the right time to get a new 3DS and Majora's Mask. And since I'm playing it right now, I don't know, I didn't think it was really the right time to get one. Because I'd be played out. But I've been watching Let's Plays of it, and it looks so good. Like, so good. I wouldn't be able to do my own Let's Play for it. Because I don't have... I don't have a... Um, 3DS capture card. And I don't think I'm going to get one ever unless the channel takes off. Uh, but anyway, we noticed there's a switch over here. And we noticed there was also another switch on the other side, but we're gonna do this first before we do that switch. Because we wouldn't be able to get back. So, take off the mask, do this. That'll open up... Yeah, that'll open up a hole in the ceiling, which... Honestly, I don't know why we... why I did that. We don't need that hole. Actually, yes we do. No, we don't. I'm conflicted. I don't know if we needed that hole. Because I'm not gonna use it, but maybe it was useful for something else? Eh, who knows. Anyway, we're gonna go back. All the way over to that switch over there. 
right over here. Take off our Deku mask because you can't jump with that. Those, those bazoos. We want to kill these guay. Just in case. Okay. So hit the switch. And then do our acrobat tick stunt. Acrobat tick stunt. Okay. Oh, I thought I missed it. So, also another thing that I wanted to talk about. I got new channel art. And oh my god. It is insane. I got my, I got the uh, character. It's supposed to be me. Um, me in Link suit from the trailers for Wii U Zelda. It just looks so good. But anyway, we got a piece of heart. We need two more to get that, to fill that up, right? Right. So let's head back in. Don't need this anymore. Get the Gibdo mask. Whoops, that's not it. And then head back into the dungeon. Tattle, I don't need to hear your words. I am an expert at this game. Okay, so we come back in here and the... The re -dead spawned. Again. We'll kill them and get Mucho's money out, so... Uh, we're gonna get a lot of money. <clears throat> Whoa, that was bad. We're gonna get a lot of money in this. These two areas that we're going to here. Anyway, we, why don't we go in the right door now? Oh my god, we'll notice a friggin' floor master. Oh, it kills it in one hit. This one... These ones friggin' multiply. As if they weren't... bad enough. Oh, are you serious? What does this do? Oh, that was awesome. Okay. Oh, uh, what a... Oh wait, I can't show that off yet. Never mind. So these blocks get taken out by light. And we'll notice there's another bunch of re-deads over here. Man, they're just... They're just plentiful. Eh? Oh yeah, I guess I should have stated that whenever you wear these masks, the re-deads will dance. So once we go in here, I think we have another... We have the pretty much the boss, and it's a whiz robe again. Although he does do something different. He, like, spits out fire with his wand. We know how to beat this guy. Easy peasy. Just watch the map, see where he is. Oops, I didn't mean that. Getting kind of tired of these guys. Hope there's no more. This guy's got more strength or vitality as well. I guess this could be... a good time to talk. I've been watching. I've been, uh, I set out a goal for myself. Uh, I started watching all of Chugga Conroy's Let's Plays right from the start. So, his Earthbound Let's Play. I started that the other day. And I work at home, so I watch them while I work. I'm on Mother... Mother... Uh, the Mother Let's Play now. He's so different. And what I was like... What it made me think was like, Man. I was different too when I started. I remember whenever I first started with, like, my Minecraft stuff. I was so weird. I, I, I <laughs> he, Chugga Conroy had an episode where he was eating. Like, I don't know what he was eating, but it was annoying. I, and then I, I looked back at my episodes, and I noticed that I had an episode of Minecraft where I was eating. I was eating Cheerios, and I remember that day. Oh, no! Ah, oh, kaha. So that, it was like, it made me, I don't know, it made me feel like made me feel good about myself, because Chugga Conroy started out somewhere and he did something stupid too, so, I mean, at least I can look back at my previous videos and be like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Anyway, we beat that room, now we're heading up to the outside area now, where the block moved before. See, I, oh, wait a second. Oh, phew. Oh, jeez. Okay, I forgot to mention that we needed a powder keg in here. I totally forgot about that. But we need the powder keg to blow up this. 
I'm glad that I remembered that. Whew. I would have had to waste my time. Okay. Blow it up and then... Can we fall in that? Yeah, we can. So I guess... Oh! What that block... Nope. What that block did was open up the sunroof in the room to the right. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. yeah th you can kill the re-deads like this. Okay, but yeah, so like, I've started that project, I guess. I don't know if you could really call it a project. But then, I'm also gonna do that for Nintendo Capri Sun. Because those are my two favorite Let's Players. If you didn't know. So what's in this room? I forget. Oh yes, this is the boss of the area. So I guess there is a boss. It's kind of a weird place, but I like it. So, let's look around. We see a throne. We see windows with light. So this must be the king's room. Oh, insolent one who has brought an unthinkable... Brought the unthinkable into a land as dark as this. My servants have fallen namelessly before the light that guides you. However... The darkness in which my servants live is, after all, fleeting. You shall see with your own eyes. Just what kind of thing true darkness really is! So... I mean, I know, I know, like... Chances are you've seen a Let's Play... ...before, but I just want to showcase this. How funny this is. <laughs> I thought this is great. I, like... They're animals! Like, it's obvious that they're animals, right? Their bone structure in their head? They've gotta be animals. So it's pretty awesome that they're... ...dancing like that, but anyway... Another thing we could do... I guess it doesn't work for them. So anyway, as we saw the curtains were falling... ...before... We're gonna... ...shed a little light on the situation by burning them. If I can! There we go. Cause we need some light. What's wrong? So, as long as we're standing in the light... Oh, jeez. They won't come after us. Yeah, so... There. So what we do... I believe that what we have to do is... Shine the light... Uh, hit them until they're on the ground and then shine the light on them. This fight confused me. Yep. That's what we have to do, so I have to fight over here. Yeah. Get over here, pal. Okay, here we go. There we go, yeah. So it's it's actually pretty easy. These guys are easy as pie. Get them. There we go. You wanna go, pal? Okay, so, a cool thing, if you're wearing the captain's mask, he'll do this. Oh, Kita, is it not Captain Kita? But you're so... Tiny! <laughs> I was nearly fooled by what you have done. But you can't fool me. Okay, so this guy... Ah, oh, he's, he's dumb. Okay, let's just try jump attacks. And he missed. Come here. He did like a dance. I hate this move. We can't do anything while he does this. I, I don't think we can. Can I shoot him? Nope. Get out of here. Your annoying moves. He turns invisible, so we can't hit him. Okay, this is the time. Come on. Okay. No! That was easy. That was a joke. Let's 
It's just... whatever. <laughs> Who cares? You're blocking me. Get out of the way. I can still see you. I, I can still get him. Blocking you? The reason he beat us is because you're so feeble. Don't blame this on me. You're dead too. What? Just try saying that again to my bony face. Feeble, 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 feeble. Shut up already. Ugh. Don't look at me, I was once the best swordsman in all of Ikana. The greatest swordsman in all of Ikana, you... Feeble! Draw your weapon. Huh? I'm telling you to draw your sword. How? <laughs> uh. Will you stop? You what fools? Haven't you begun to understand? The kingdom being ruined and us left in this state? Isn't it petty little battles like this that have caused it? See ya. Believing in your friends and embracing that belief is forgiving fail if by forgiving failure, these feelings have vanished from our hearts. It all happened after somebody thrust open the doors of that stone tower. You who bring light into darkness, I am the king of Ikana Canyon. Egos do Ikana. The spellbinding that, that had been cast upon us was broken by the light which you carry. To return true light to this land, you must seal the doors of Stone Tower, where the winds of darkness blow through. But Stone Tower is an impenetrable stronghold. Hundreds of soldiers from my kingdom would not even be able to topple it. I can. It is far too reckless for one to take on such a challenge. And so. I grant to you a soldier who has no heart. One who will not falter in the darkness. You shall remember this song. Well, this is our friend. We'll call him Ben. You'll learn the L, L off. Frig, I was going to see how that, that word was pronounced before I recorded this. Who cares? <laughs> so, this song makes us put down a statue. Up to four can be created, one of each mask form. The soldier who has no heart is your twin image. A shell of yourself that will shed, that you will shed when your song commands it. On my kingdom, shine the light of justice. Okay, well. See ya, Ben. We're done. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're gonna go to the temple. Which is gonna be super fun. Like, I have been, like... I think this is my favorite temple. I hope. It's been a long time since I played it. But it's got such a cool... A cool way of doing everything. That I just can't wait. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.